Rich Simpson. I'm a solution engineer on the ArcGIS Indoors team. And in this tutorial video, we will be covering creating maps for mobile and web applications. The key concepts we will be covering in this video are the required layers for mobile and web applications, configuring the layer pop-ups, and publishing the maps and mobile map packages. When the process of data curation and editing is complete, a map in ArcGIS Pro should have the following contents, safety and security, retail and services, places and things, details, units, levels, and facilities at a minimum. Some optional things that you may want to include are events, people, sites, and if you're creating a mobile map package, you will need to display LODs as well as the display scales. We will be covering that in a later section. Once you have identified that you have the key layers that are required in publishing into a web or mobile application, the next step you're going to take is configuring pop-ups. Prior to the consumption and service by the web application, the web map needs to have pop-ups configured. This operation will allow the application to display a set of chosen fields for each appropriate feature class in the web map. In this example workflow, we'll choose the fields, places and things, and units as feature classes. Pop-up configuration should be controlled to the maximum extent possible in the ArcGIS Pro maps used to publish. We do this so that the options chosen can be maintained from one version of a web map or mobile application package to the next, and not have to worry about doing it every time in the portal web map interface. Highlight the places and things in the table of contents and right-click. Ensure that pop-ups are enabled. If you see the disable pop-ups, that means it is enabled. Select configure pop-ups. In the Configure Pop-Ups dialog panel, there are two main options, Title Bar and the Attribute Table. Clicking on the Title Bar will open a dialog where text can be configured for the title and can include attribute values. You can access these by pulling them down if they are already surrounded by brackets. The Attribute panel will display a list of feature classes attributes with checkboxes so that they can be selected individually. Start by unchecking the boxes next to the display at the very top. Then make selections to mimic the configuration that you would like. For our purposes, we're going we're gonna to choose use type, long name, level name. And once we're figure finished, we're going to select an attribute to verify that what we're looking for is configured in the pop-up. Follow a similar workflow for the places and things layer of points of interest in the table of contents. What is important to see? What is most useful? What sort of evaluation are you using to make these decisions? These are all important questions to identify before you configure your pop-ups. The next step that we are going to take is configuring map symbology. It is recommended to use the symbology provided with the ArcGIS Indoors product to style your maps. You can access these styling files and use them for symbology in your maps. To do this, first you're going to open and import Indoors POI's StyleX file. Go to Catalog, Styles, right click, click Add Style. Now add in the style that came with the ArcGIS Indoors product package. Once your style is added, you can now symbolize your POI's via an attribute. Category subtype should be used for this visualization. After we have added a symbology to the building features, we can use this process to create a custom color scheme. Or you could use the supplied ArcGIS Indoors default symbology. There's one more step that we have to take in order to create the maps for publishing. In the catalog pane, copy the current map and paste it twice. Next, you're going to rename one copy, Mobile Map Package, and the other is going to be Web Map. Each of the resulting two maps in the Pro Project has items that need to be added before publishing. We'll start with the Mobile Map Package. 
If you have a vector tile package of your site, this is the time to add it. We're also going to make sure that we have the network data set, the pathways feature class, and the transition feature class, both with the visibility off. These are going to be added to the mobile map package. For our web map, we're just going to add a base map. A safe default is the world street map. As a note, the mobile map package will hold the finished network data set to allow for navigation routing within the device in the mobile application. The web map will not need to contain a network data set because the web application will reference a separately published network routing service. We are finally ready to publish the maps. To begin the publishing process, make sure that the ArcGIS Pro session is connected and logged into the portal. This portal is going to be where the data and services will reside. As a reminder on how to manage portals, navigate to your project pane, click on portals, and verify that you're signed into the desired portal. To create and share the mobile map package, ensure the MMPK map is zoomed out to a level that shows the full extent of the site. Once properly scaled, go to the Share tab and Package as a Mobile Map Package. For our Web Map layer, we're going to go to the Share tab and Share as Web Map. Back in your Enterprise Portal, you'll now have access to the Web Map and your Mobile Map Package. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful, like and subscribe to this channel for future updates. To get started with ArcGIS Indoors, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.